welcome and welcome back to my channel if y'all are new to my channel welcome 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 and if you're an oldie but goodie welcome back welcome back welcome back so you guys so in today's video i'll be doing a diy video my first diy video i believe on my channel and this diy video is going to be making a customized jean jacket or denim jacket using iron on patches so you guys so i have a simple jean jacket here and i had threw on some patches back here real quick so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i actually made this nice brown denim jean jacket so let's go ahead and get to it boo okay you guys so let's go ahead and get started into what we need to do to go ahead and make this customized denim jean jacket using iron on patches so the first thing that you're going to need is obviously a classic jean jacket of your choice doesn't really matter and then you're also going to need a bunch of patches of your choice also doesn't really matter so this jean jacket that i actually purchased is from forever 21 i actually caught a really really good deal and i was like this is a perfect time to do this diy jean jacket that i've always wanted to do so the first thing that you need to do is actually lay down your jean jacket flat onto the ground onto a flat surface um with the back facing up because this is what you're going to work on first and then the next thing that you need is a classic iron doesn't really matter what kind just something that actually provides a high heat because we need that and then you're definitely going to need a bunch of patches now the last thing that you're going to need is also a piece of cloth to actually lay on top of your patches when it is time to iron on each and every single individual patch so my thing with my jean jacket is really inspired um with the current black lives matter movement and this jean jacket is more focused around the black community black culture so as you can see a lot of these patches are black related so that is my theme so a lot of these patches i actually purchased um they are actually um made by companies that are black owned i will actually list them down below in the description box if you do want to go ahead and check them out but yes sis, they are bomb but you can do whatever you want to do when it comes to making your own type of denim jean jacket okay so the first thing that you need to do is you need to start pretty much just placing your patches onto your jacket and kind of like figuring out like your design on how you want your jacket to actually look. So I'm going to go ahead and just start placing these patches onto my jacket, trying to figure out exactly how I want my layout of my patches to go. So once you finally figure out how you actually want your patches to be laid onto your jacket, I'm just going to go ahead and move some of these patches upward and start with the first patch at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and use this cloth that I actually have and this cloth is just to put it on top of the patch to go ahead and iron it on. Because I'm not really sure but I think if you do iron directly on top of the patch it can actually burn the patch so you're supposed to actually like put like a towel or a thin shirt or some type of fabric on top of the patch and then iron it on. So my iron is placed on the highest heat possible. I'm not really sure what number that is, but I'm gonna go ahead and just go back and forward with my iron on top of this patch. And I'm actually gonna leave this iron on top of my patch for like a couple seconds, not too long because I don't want it to burn, but just for a couple seconds just so that adhesive can really, really melt down and the heat can really get to the adhesive to adhere to this jean jacket. So once you're finally done with that patch, you wanna just go ahead behind and actually check to make sure that it is adhere. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just check the corners just to see if they're lifting. So once you see that patch, the first patch is adhere to the jacket, you can go ahead and move on to the second patch. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pretty much do the exact same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and just iron back and forth on top of this fabric that's on top of the patch. 
just so it can adhere and I'm going to actually leave the iron on top of this fabric for a little couple seconds which I didn't show on camera but left it on there for a couple seconds just so it can really really adhere and I'm going to just go ahead and continue to do this with each and every single one of these patches. So you guys, so if you're like me and notice that one of these patches are spelled incorrectly, yes, that one. It says I can't breath instead of I can't breathe. I actually just quickly removed it. Thankfully, it wasn't completely adhered and I just replaced it with a, another patch that can fit in that same area. So this is what the back of my jacket looks like for right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just flip the jacket over. And I'm going to go ahead and just iron on top of this jean jacket just a little bit more just so those patches can actually adhere a little bit more to my liking. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place the jacket inside out. I'm gonna go ahead and iron inside out of the jacket just so I can really, really get the adhesive to melt onto this jean jacket. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and add just one single patch into the front of my jacket, just to add like a little statement piece. But if you want, you can add as many patches all over the jacket as you want to, but this is how I want my jacket to look like. So this is pretty much what my jacket looks like after I'm done ironing all of my patches. And just for a little bit extra security, I actually did get someone to actually sew on each and every single one of these patches individually. I would actually recommend for you to actually get someone to sew these patches if you can't do them yourself. Just to have a little bit more extra security just so these patches do not fall off because we do not want this beautiful jacket to get ruined, okay? So you guys, so this is a completed look of my customized denim jacket that is black community, black culture inspired. I hope you did enjoy this video and if you did, go ahead and give this video a nice thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below, turn it gray and join the Tam Cam fam. And also hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time when I post any new future uploads. Bye, you guys.